This is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Today I wanted to show you the new Tweety app for Mac OS X. Um, Tweety has been out for a little while on the iPhone, and it's probably the best Twitter app out there as far as iPhone uh, Twitter apps go, at least in my opinion. I, I, I like it a lot. So what they did is they recently released um, this version for the uh, Mac or OS X. It's $15 as an introductory price, and I think it's like $25 uh, eventually. It'll be $20, $25 uh, after that. So here's your basic Twitter layout. What you have is um, here's all the different people I'm following. Here's Engadget, uh, and you know here's their their newest post, MSI's X Slim X340. Uh, here's a link, URL. You click it, opens just as you'd expect. Obvious stuff. Um, here's the different options. So here's the people you're following, the conversations. Uh, here's the at reply button. Here's uh, messages. You can click that. Uh, direct messages to me. And here's your search. Um, search is just like you'd expect. You could do this with TweetDeck, um, but you don't have that giant display view. I have played around with the view a little bit. I like this way. Very compact, very useful. Uh, so let's search for um, Zolotech. I'll show you. It finds trends or whatever. Here's all the posts. You can see it's pretty quick. Uh, these are the posts that we, we've done on the site or I've done. Um, we could do iPod search for that and here's all the different posts with iPod in it. Now the cool thing that this does is here's a here's the uh, actual at reply if we click that it allows us to follow that conversation and look at it, look back at it. It does take a moment to load sometimes, it depends on the speed of Twitter actually uh, and their servers. While that's loading here's the options you can do a public reply, a direct message to this person Kevin Rudd um, or Rude, I'm not sure who that is open it in a browser or follow. Uh, some nice options, here's the info uh, or, or the inspector information, whatever you want to look at or you know call that. Updates 153, so you can see there's a lot of uh, information here, real simple and a nice interface using the the core graphics and things from OS X. Here is, oh, it hasn't loaded anything yet so it's a little bit slow. Um, let's go to this conversation, oh, it's a link Let's go to uh, this conversation rather, and let's see if there's anything in here, and there's not. So let's try, let's go back, uh, let's try here. Okay, so here's a bunch of updates. You could follow the conversation from earlier. Um, here's the at replies, and uh, the start or favorites. Um, so let's go back now. You can see that this little blue dot appeared uh, at the in our normal conversation following. If I go back to that, you can see it fades back nicely. What that does is it leaves off where you where you read left or you you read in the conversation last time. So if you look here, we were say we we're following. You're looking at this what this post was. Uh, it stays here until you scroll up. So here's the uh, last post, uh, doing a video. I did that just to show you. Um, and since then, these people have posted. Once we scroll all the way to the top, the little uh, dot disappears, and now we know that there's no new post. If we want to put a new post, we click this button down here, pops up, and we have some options, shorten URLs, add image. Um, still playing with Tweety. There we go. Uh, if you mistype that, it will show you that, just like you expect in the OS X. Click Post, and it posts. Real simple. Um, here you have your preferences under Tweety. You, you know, check for updates, preferences, registration, uh, your accounts, general. Pretty customizable. Um, really nice app. Very simple. Very clean. Uh, really like it a lot, and uh, definitely worth the money if you're going to pick it up. Check it out. It's called Tweety, and I'll, I'll give you the URL up on the screen. Uh, this is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.